Hey guys, this is Jamin with Point Tech. Uh, today we're bringing you another do-it-yourself computer video. We're working with an ASUS laptop, and we're going to be discussing the blue screen error that you may get, or the blue screen of death. Uh, this is basically happening. You can get numerous error codes, um, or it just can get stuck loading on a blue screen. You may see that loading bar or, 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 the, or the circular loading icon. Basically what's happening is these errors are being caused because your operating system is trying to load, uh, your, your computer is trying to start up, but then unexpected errors are occurring. Uh, these can be either hardware or software. Um, so today we'll talk about how to identify and, and troubleshoot exactly which one uh, is erring out and then obviously how, how you can fix it. Um, occasionally, by the way, this could be due to overheating. Your computer could just be overheating. Uh, so if your palm rest is hot to the touch, um, and, and, and you think that this could be caused by just an overheating computer, go in, uh, down in our description, there'll be a video down there on, on how to fix uh, a computer that's overheating, and I'll tell you how to open this up and, and, and fix that. Uh, but first thing you want to check, assuming it's not overheating, uh, you want to check a setting in your BIOS uh, system. Uh, you want to check your date and time setting, make sure that that's correct, because that can uh, cause errors like this. So first thing we're going to do is show you how to check uh, that date and time setting in BIOS. So first thing you want to do is hold down your power button and I'm going to hold down on the F2 key right away. Um, Google your own make and model to double check because you may have a different function key uh, but a lot of these computers use the F2 key so that's what I'm going to go with. So hit power, hold down the F2 key right away. So this is your BIOS system. Yours may look a little different uh, based on what model you have, how old it is. Uh, but basically what we're looking for is uh, down bottom you see the system date and time located near the bottom in blue and white. Uh, that's the setting that we're looking for. Uh, here it's on your main tab, uh, but it could be on your other tabs. You can navigate your tabs with your arrow keys on, on your keyboard, right, left, uh, and you can navigate up and down to choose which one you're using. Uh, to change the actual date and time, you can use your tab key. See how I'm on six right now? I tab over to seven, tab over to 2018. So, same thing, if I go down, I can tab over to 6, tab over to 30. Uh, so basically here, you're checking to make sure that your date and time is set correctly. Um, this can cause numerous errors with your computer, one of which uh, is the one that we're trying to solve. Uh, so make sure that these are correct. Uh, when you're done, uh, you'll see a key toward the right bottom. Uh, you, you have an escape for exit, F10 for save and exit, whatever. Uh, you're using. Uh, or if you don't have those options with your BIOS setup, you can arrow over tabs. And this one says save and exit. And I can use my arrow keys up and down again like before. Save changes and exit or discard changes and exit. Uh, so after you've made sure those are correct, uh, if they were wrong and you've corrected them, try your computer again. Hopefully it will work this time. If not, the next step we're going to do is to show you how to test uh, your RAM and see if that is causing the error and how to resolve that. So after checking to make sure the date and time in your BIOS was set correctly, if the problem is still persisting, at this point in the shot we would run a diagnostic scan to check your hard drive and check your RAM to make sure they're good, uh, but you don't have those at home, so you're going to have to use a process of elimination checking your hard drive and your RAM. So right now we're going to move on and, and check your RAM, you're going to flip your computer over, and again yours may look a little different based on what model you have, but you're going to take your screwdriver and you're going to start taking off the screws to the access panels under your computer if you have them and if there are none then you would take out your screws to your entire bottom case to take it off. So I had three screws to this panel so now I'm going to take this panel off okay so again yours may look a little different but we're looking for your RAM sticks which look like these uh, most likely you'll have one or two. If you have one, it's a very easy test. Um, put another stick of RAM in there, see if it works. But with two RAM, the thing with RAM is they're kind of like headlights in a car. Uh, it's possible for both to go bad at the same time, but it's not usually how it works. So to test your RAM, we're going to take out one stick and try to turn it on. So the way RAM is held in, it's got two metal bars on the side that hold it in with springs. So you push those out and the RAM pops right up. Slide it out. So now with one stick removed, we would try the computer again, try turning it on, see if it works. If you're still getting that error, 
what you would do is turn it off, put this RAM stick back in, making sure that it goes the same way that you took it out, and then repeat the process with the other stick. Take that RAM stick out, flip the computer over, turn it on, see if it works. Hopefully that way you can find out which RAM, or again, uh, unlikely but possible, both RAM are bad. Now, if you want to figure out where to go to find RAM, uh, if you find out one of your sticks is bad and you need to know how, how to purchase one, in our description there's a video on how to find out which RAM is compatible for your unit, for your computer, so you can buy and replace it. So this is where the process of elimination method gets a little sticky. The thing with RAM is that uh, bad RAM can sometimes cause operating system errors at the same time that they're failing, which means that your operating system still won't boot even with the bad stick out because the RAM has already messed up your operating system. So it's kind of hard to know which is bad um, and, and which is good or if they're both bad. So this is where the process of, of elimination also we, we need to keep up with it. To know which one is bad, we have to go to eliminate each possibility one by one, your RAM or, or your operating system. So first thing you want to do is try reinstalling the operating system. We recommend Windows 10, uh, especially for beginners. It's the easiest operating system to install um, for many reasons that we won't get into here. But down in, in our uh, description, we'll have a, a video that walks you through how to install an operating system, specifically Windows 10. And, and, and if you want to, in the process, up, upgrade to Windows 10 for, for very li little money. So if you're successful in loading up the operating system, then it means your hardware is fine and you're good. Uh, but if not, uh, then what we're going to do is try, again, same RAM uh, test we just did, except instead of removing one stick and turning your computer on, we're going to remove one stick and try installing the operating system again. If it doesn't work, same thing you just did earlier, put that RAM stick back, take the other RAM stick out, try installing the operating system again. So, so the same type of test uh, to make sure that your RAM is not the reason why your operating system is messing up. So we know this is kind of a tedious procedure, but again, without diagnostic software, this is uh, the way that we do it. And even in our own shop, sometimes because of the errors in a computer, our diagnostic software won't work on that computer. So we end up doing this uh, multiple times as well if our diagnostic system fails. Uh, so lastly, if after doing all these steps you see there's no change, um, there's always the possibility of a faulty hard drive. So the next step would be to switch out your hard drive uh, with either another hard drive from a working computer that you have, or you can order an, a new one online. I would recommend buying one with a return policy uh, because there are no definites in computer repair, and if you try that hard drive and all these steps and it still doesn't work, then your hard drive wasn't the problem and you would want to return it. Uh, but hopefully this video helped you out. Uh, it, it is a long process, so if you got stuck anywhere, if you have any questions, um, or if you want to know the next step to go, please leave a message and we will help you out. Uh, please like and share if, if it did help you out, and uh, please subscribe if you enjoy do-it-yourself computer repair.